greetings from the Philippines. Uh, like to share a little bit out of God's word this morning. Uh, a lot of people, uh, well, we'll, just, we'll just look at the scripture. Second uh, Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God. To pulling down the strongholds and casting down imaginations, they bring in every thought captive to the mind of Christ. You know, the, the, if you're a true believer, the, the enemy, the only way he can attack you is through deception. And these are strongholds in our mind, these are doctrines that we were taught even in church. And that's why. Our, our only safety net is to read the Bible for ourselves. You know, we, we, even when you hear this message, you know, just take it, look at the Bible. Read what the Bible says and believe what the Bible says, not what I say or what anybody else says, just because it's the person that you, you uh, like. We have to be vigilant for our, for our own safety to to rightly divide the scripture the bible teaches that that we have an anointing in us that teaches us what's true yeah that's the holy spirit if if you're born again you can't have the holy spirit without being born again but when you're born again you have the holy spirit and and the holy spirit's there to teach you all truth and the way the enemy deceives us is through false beliefs. If you if you read every book in the Bible, every New Testament book, there is a warning against false teachers, false doctrines, wolves in sheep's clothing. You know the the way the enemy. You you even look at how he attacked Jesus. He came to Jesus and he said, "This is what the God, this is what God's word says." And, and he was taking it out of context. So there was a, like a little bit of truth or a, a wrong take on what the Spirit of God is saying in, in his word. And so strongholds are like this. If you don't believe that God heals today because somebody told you something like that, or if, if you don't believe that God would use you to pray for somebody and that person would be healed right there on the spot because somebody told you that God doesn't do this anymore. What you have to do is you have to find it someplace in God's word where it says that because if you believe he doesn't do that, you're not gonna go pray for the sick. And if you believe he doesn't heal people today, then you're going to have a hard time getting healing, having faith for God to heal you. Yeah, so, so the stronghold is, you know, like, well, God doesn't talk to people today. You know, he talks through his word. And it is the main way he, he speaks to us is through his word. But, and, 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 and on top of that, if you're going to hear God's voice, you've got to know what he already said in his word. Yeah, so, so we need to be students of the Word of God. And, and it is the number one way he says, he, he speaks to us, is through his Word. And there's, there's so much in his Word that we should just obey already. We don't need God to tell us to share our faith because the Bible says go. Doesn't say stay, doesn't say stay and wait until I tell you something special or, or you hear God say, like to me, go to the Philippines. No, you you... Wherever you go, wherever you are in life, if you're a Christian, you're a minister of God, you're a royal priesthood, you are to declare God's word, his faithfulness, your testimony to other people. The, the fastest growing church in the world right now is in China. There's, there's churches that started with one person that's 12 million strong now. Not all meeting in one place. That would be pretty glorious. But they, they, and and what they do is they believe they they put people as soon as you're born again, have them start to tell their testimony to other people. 
you know, we, we in our in our church today were so refined that we had to wait until somebody has a certain maturity before they can share their faith. No, your testimony is one of the strongest conversion tools there is. Hallelujah. So, I, I have a feeling I just lost my uh, my connection here, but hopefully the microphone's picking up on my iPad. The the strongholds are where the enemy attacks us. He he sends fiery darts into our mind. He teaches us through false doctrines and false prophets and false teachers. He 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 takes an experience in our life and, and all of a sudden we're writing a doctrine around that experience. When our only safety net is God's word. You have to go back to God's word. And what does God's word say? And if you have to go through some kind of acrobatics in the word of God to prove some doctrine, there's something wrong with that. Because most, most of the Bible is just plain. Go into all the world. Study to show yourself approved. Right? God God, you got to believe God exists. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You got to believe that He exists and that He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. In other words, we have to be people who diligently seek God. And so, the casting down of strongholds, it's when, it's when, if, if, if you go to God's Word just to prove what you already believe, what you wind up with is a book that pretty much you wrote. When we're supposed to go to God's word in humility and say, God, whatever you say, I'm going to believe that, even if I have to humble myself and, and, and get rid of my thought and replace it with yours. The strongholds are in our mind. You know, things that we fear, there's no, there's no reason to fear that. Imaginations, the Bible says, casting down imaginations. You know, the Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind. That should, that's, that's ours, our inheritance as, as God's kids is, is a sound mind. And so we have to start replacing our thoughts with his thoughts. And we have to trust what the Holy Spirit says. And we don't just trust what our own denomination says. Because you know what? I believe with all my heart that God hates denominations. Because Jesus said, he said, let them be one as we are one. For me, if you believe the central truths of the Bible, you're my brother. If you practice them. If, if you believe that Jesus was God... That, that he led a sinless life. He died a substitutionary death. He was born of a virgin. He bodily rose from the dead. And that salvation is a free gift by grace. Everything's in the word of God. You believe those things, you practice those things, you repent from your sins, you give your heart to Jesus. And you are born from above. You're now God's child. And you're my brother and sister in Christ. And I'm not going to sit there and fight you around peripheral doctrines. I'm definitely not going to reject you because you don't believe exactly like I do. Because I'm convinced that nobody, no denomination, has it 100% right. And so what we need to do is we need to submit ourselves to the Word of God in the presence of the Holy Spirit and believe that God's going to teach us something and talk to us because you know what? The most precious thing you'll ever get is when God speaks to your heart personally and you know it's God. It's something that nobody could ever take from you. And so I just want to encourage you today study the Word of God. Make sure you're in the kingdom, give your heart to Jesus, then open up your Bible all by yourself, and not just read tons and tons and tons of scripture, but read a, a, a thought. 
meditate on it, and let God speak to you. And what he does is the word becomes flesh in you. You start to become more and more like Christ. The word washes your mind. The word washes you, washes your heart. Hallelujah. Anyway, God bless you. Greetings from the Philippines.